Hello, I'm Dr. Scott Naftalin of Spine Sports and Pain Medicine, and I'm going to demonstrate what's involved in a lumbar epidural steroid injection. As you can see, we have an x-ray machine, also known as fluoroscopy. So after having taken initial picture, I will have Dr. Ferker first oblique the C-arm towards me several degrees. I now have my picture in view, and then under x-ray guidance, I can place the needle, but I can then use the x-ray to direct my needle. We're able to use a very small or fine gauge needle, so meaning it's very small and narrow, and then we advance the needle. And if you can go into a PA, Dr. Ferker, we then move the x-ray machine to ensure appropriate needle placement and I will continue to move the needle under x-ray. And that little beep you hear is just the x-ray picture being taken. And once I have the needle in place, I then remove what's called the stylet out of the needle. I would generally then have syringes where I would inject the medication first, something called contrast that I can see on my x-ray monitor and make sure the medication is going to the targeted area, followed by the local anesthetic or numbing medicine and if required, steroid, also known as cortisone, into that particular area. Once the injection is performed, the needle is removed. Prior to the procedure, we would have sterilely prepared the patient with appropriate alcohol solution. Obviously, with a dummy, that's not required. We then will clean off the back and apply a Band-Aid. Sometimes we can't even see where the needle went in, and then take the patient out to our post care unit and make sure that there's been no reactions before they are discharged accompanied by a driver. So visit us at SpecialtySpineCare.com for evaluation of your chronic neck or lower back pain.